Hello everybody, welcome to the pre-FIBA World Cup press conference with the Philippines, currently with head coach Chuck Reyes and Chiap of Aguila. We just have a kind message to ask you if you can please refrain from making any videos or still images, photos on your phones. We'll have an open statement from both Coach Chart and Japheth, and then we'll open up for questions from the press and we'll, we'll open up for a much longer time. Coach, welcome. The last few World Cup was in 2014 with you in Spain. Also, the Philippines featured in China in 2019. Just an open statement from you and your team's preparation for the upcoming tournament. Uh, well, thanks, first of all. Good morning. Uh, thanks for uh, having us here. Um, you're, you're right, it's uh, nine years, quick nine years since the, the last uh, World Cup. Um, we've been very, uh, as everybody knows, our preparation has been very, very interesting, to say the least. Uh, we started very early. We really wanted to put in a long uh, preparation time for, for, for the World Cup. Uh, unfortunately, we got hit by a lot of injuries. We knew that there were certain players who were going to come in late, uh, not together with the rest of the guys, but uh, and we had planned for it, but we we, we could never plan for injuries. So uh, I guess that's, uh, that's what made the preparation very interesting, to say the least. But it is part of the game. It is part of what we do. And so we I think we've done the best as best uh, that must be good uh, to handle it and uh, make the most of uh, what is dealt with us. And right now, players are in very high spirits. And I, hopefully, with the help of the home crowd, with the help of the sixth man, uh, we can uh, compete very well against these very, very tough teams. Japan, welcome to yet another World Cup. I just an open statement from you and your perspective coming into this moment. Um, well, our, uh, our journey here has been filled with uh, uh, lots of uh, hard work, um, countless of uh, hours in the gym, um, a lot of like, obstacles, like what Coach said. Um, but um, I think it uh, made us stronger until the, um, to this moment. and. It made us more united and uh, uh, ready to face uh, the challenge ahead. This time I'd like to open up the press room for questions. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Aaron Bayato from from P2 Sports. A uh, question first to Japet. Uh, congratulations for being named the team captain, team keeper. How important and vital will be your leadership to your teammates and hopefully leading the team to victory against uh, Carl Anthony Downs and Dominican Republic tomorrow? Thank you. Um, this um, is based on uh, my experience to uh, my previous captain, uh, Captain uh, Jimmy Alabang and uh, Dave Norwood. Um, they really set the bar high. Um, the ko sa kanila is um, how do how they take pride in their in their craft. Like um, every day in practice, um, their routines, di um, nagbabago. Their pro their professionalism. Um, Jimmy, talagang um, highs and lows. Talagang hindi hindi nagbabago so. Um, yun lang yung um, sa, uh, gusto kong i-emulate sa kanya and at the same time sana makita ng um, younger guys because for me I'm, I'm really not uh, vocal and eloquent like uh, them guys but for me um, yun lang um, um, day in day out um, yun lang um, try to strive for Excellence in the court, so hopefully, you know, my pass on some of the younger things. Hi, coach. Good morning. 
Morning. Uh, Coach, na-mention mo nga kanina, it's been nine years since uh, you were uh, coaching in the Super World Cup. And uh, during that time, uh, during that time, uh, it was a guard-oriented team yung minahandle mo, and you made a good run. And this time around, you are coaching the, uh, possibly the tallest ever team na mag, uh, maglalaro pa sa Philippine squad. Do you like your chances better? Um, I've learned in those nine years, uh, especially in this kind of competition, not to think about and not to worry about chances. Because it doesn't matter who you're playing, your chances are going to be very difficult. Uh, the, the competition is so tough that if you spend time thinking about your chances, it, it's really, uh, you know, it's, it's really not very useful. So we'd rather focus on other things, other more productive things. So uh, I, I don't know how to answer that question, Ray, because for, for us, uh, as Japheth will tell you, we're just focusing on the things in front of us. We're focusing on the things that we can control. And um, I think if we do that, it improves our chances. Uh, but uh, what our chances are, if you're asking me for a percentage or any kind of metric for that, hard to say because just by the very nature of the competition being the World Cup. Uh, you know, we already know how difficult it is. Uh, but yes, we like our chances because we're here. You are gonna lang naman yun eh. in, in life. 50% is showing up, right? So we're all here, putting ourselves in a 50% position to succeed. Yeah, um, totally different team, like what you said. I, I see a lot of uh, versatility in this team, um, and um, yeah, the coach name Mahala. Totally different team, totally different, you know, game plan, tactics, so coach name Mahala. Yeah, hi, coach. Um, so you said it's been interesting. Uh, you know, line up, but you we did you did announce your final twelve uh, yesterday, and I wanted to ask, although you know, we can't really predict chances. Uh, in terms of your preparation, I know you're focused on Dominican Republic. First of all, yeah. are you <coughs> happy, contented? What can you tell us about the level that you reached, and do you think we have the goods to be able to pull off an upset uh, against a team like Dominican Republic, who's been really strong coming into this World Cup? Uh, again, it, it's very hard to answer those questions, right? Because if I tell you, yes, we like it, then people might say we're too overconfident. But if we say, nah, our Dominican Republic is too tough, then people might think that we're already giving up even before the fight, right? So, like I said, we uh, we have a completely different approach. So I, I, I beg your forgiveness to, to all your answers, to all your questions, because we, this team we have, uh, you can ask the job, but we have a completely different approach. And we're just focusing on the things that are within our control. And uh, we're focusing on preparing, scouting Dominican as much as we can. We've spent a lot of time uh, studying their individual tendencies of the players, team tendencies as well. Um, and then uh, we're putting in a lot of effort in uh, playing our, in, in uh, perfecting our offense as well. Uh, so those are the two things. Uh, so do we have the goods? Do we have the team? Hard to say. Uh, hard to say. We, yeah, of, of, of course I'm happy with, with what I have. Uh, um, it's really hard to say, do we have the goods, do we have the team that can that can compete against these guys until we see the actual game, right? One thing is for sure, um, we will need the support and the prayers of the crowd. I think that's very, very important. Uh, um, we have to be able to punch above our weight. So, in other words, uh, and I think the crowd will be a, a big, big determining factor to, to be able to help us uh, and I think uh, the most important thing is for us to come in with a very um, calm, focused, intentional, yet uh, aggressive mindset coming into the world. I think that's, 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 
really the best we can do. Thank you. Coach Jimmy. Coach Jimmy. Question again uh, on the record. Uh, who was the finals? Sino yung final cut ng Kilmos? And uh, the reports are Christmas ang kasi. And uh, could you discuss how was the decision like d during final cut? Very very difficult. Difficult. Uh, I like to call it the deepest cut. Uh, meron bang pinikula ba? Meron bang whatever? <laughs> so, uh, really difficult. Um, some guys, you know, we had to cut, um, were there from day one. They asked us, uh, and, that's, um, and I told the team the same thing uh, uh, three days ago. How was that? I was very uh, subdued after practice because I told them I'm about I'm uh, about to make uh, we're about the coaching staff is about to make a very tough decision, but it falls on me to deliver the news. And the way I like to do it is I call the players themselves. Uh, that's my that's my commitment to the players. They're not gonna find about it, find out about it on social media or from any other person. But for me, for me. Personally, so I had to. I talked to thirty personally. I made up call myself to Ray, Parks, Calvin, <coughs> and to Chris. So uh, I, I called them all at the same time. Uh, so there was really no final cut. But the reason why Chris is with us is because um, the third and Ray have to report back already to, to Japan to their teams, right? And Calvin had to go back to Gumageti to be with his family, with his baby. Um, so uh, they would have been here with us if, if, if not. Um, the other, so uh, that's, that's how difficult it was. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it was, and like I told them, it's not because of anything they did wrong or any lack or deficiency on their part. It's just that they had to make a choice. In the end, we had 16 guys, and we can only choose 12. And then for me, that, that is the really a coach's most difficult job. Um, sana kung, you know, if they were doing something bad or wrong, or they were just really you know, bad for the team, but not. They were all doing everything that we asked. Coach, uh, good afternoon. Coach, um, talk about um, the game within the game. Um, you're plotting against the uh, Angola, Dominican Republic, and then Italy, but then you're also monitoring the Asian teams for that Paris play. Can you talk about it? Um, way of plotting um, plot, um, plot, um, Yeah, um, it's, it's something that we are, it's part of our planning process, uh, of our preparation. And I know we're putting all our efforts um, into this game against the Dominican Republic, uh, first two games specifically, and Angola. But we have to remember that um, uh, whatever happens in the, if, if things do not go as planned, if the things don't go our way in the first round, there is still another round of games for us to play. And, there in might lie the qualifiers. Um, that's uh, just to give you an idea of the how immense the the thinking that's going on behind what we're doing here. So while we're thinking of the teams that we're playing, the, the team that we're playing tomorrow and the next couple of days, we're also thinking about okay scenario. So we have six, seven, eight scenarios planned already because we have to still be playing just in case it comes to that. And we all know who who is the Asian team that is uh, that might be there in, in case we have to play them in the second round. So we might need to beat somebody in the second round to get to the Olympics. Um, 
So, yes, we are thinking about that as well. I don't know if you guys have considered that, but we have certainly considered that. Uh, Coach, uh, I'd just like to ask him about the front line that uh, this team has on us. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's probably the tallest front line you've ever coached. And uh, it's also a unique combination of two veterans in Jumpet and two, uh, two youngsters in Kai and uh, DJ. So just talk about that, uh, that, uh, that dynamic and uh, uh, how, how it how this front line compares to other front lines that you've coached before? Uh, pretty ironic that when we have the size, the game has gone the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> During the times when it was all about size, we were the first team in the world to play small ball. We were playing small ball in 2013-2014, even before. We, had, we, we were playing three-point guards in the world, remember, when we played and everyone was bashing us for playing Jimmy, Jason, and Paul Lee together on LA. And now everyone's doing that, right? So uh, I find that really ironic. Now that we have the size, the game has gone the opposite way. But uh, um, sure, size was important uh, for having Jape, uh, Junmar, Kai, and AJ, but. Um, skill as well and, and, and the other aspects of the game, uh, versatility like Jack had said, and um, uh, even if the game has gone the opposite way, I think having an inside presence is still very, very important because every team will face, every team we will face is going to have a strong, tough inside guy. So. That's how important, and, and nobody tougher than the first game, the, the, the big guy that we're playing in the first game. Uh, and uh, that's going to be the role, uh, the value of our front line. Uh, I don't think it's physically possible for any single person on our team, or perhaps even in the entire World Cup, to stop Carl Anthony Towns one on one, right? So, it's going to take a village to beat them, to stop him and Dominica. That's not a one-man team that we're playing tomorrow. So, but the, the initial job is going to fall on the on the on, on fight. So uh, that's how important they're going. Thank you. Hi, Coach Sean. Uh, just to follow up on Japheth earlier, so saying that this team is quite different and has a lot of versatility. Um, talk about how different this team is for you compared to the 2014 one, which we know was all about Puso. And what do you like most about your team now? I think uh, it, uh, I think Puso is still very much uh, present. It's still the, the anchor of everything we're doing. We always say we fight till we cannot fight anymore for our country with all our hearts. That is that is what Aban Filipinas Puso is all about. So that is still what uh, this team is anchored on. Um, the values remain the same, the tactics might differ. So that's where the difference is because uh, obviously different players, uh, different uh, uh, techniques, uh, different strategies, uh, different skill sets. Um, so that's, that's the big difference, like, uh, like, like Jack had said. Uh, before, just in the case of our naturalized player, before we had the seven-footer, Andre Blanche, and now not the same. Um, so that's that's the, the big difference already. Uh, um, and I think uh, the previous game, I, I think the, the previous team was, uh, has the benefit of playing, has the benefit of the 2013 experience behind them. So when we, when we had to go, went through the qualifying process of 2013 uh, to get to 2014. I think that was very, very important. And then we added Andre Blatch into the mix. So uh, that's a big difference from this team. So uh, I, can, I guess in makeup, in, in style, uh, in, in, in size, uh, Lot of differences, but the values and the uh, 
and uh, from the passion, I hope the, the, the things that we hold dear, uh, we all remain the same. Yeah, like what uh, Coach uh, John said, uh, it, it was hindi lang ano ako yung for uh, my teammates ang the defense as that day. It's it, what did you? Say? It takes the whole village. Yeah, it takes the village to you know. To stop him and even the uh, um, Dominican Republic. So, yeah, um, yeah, like what, uh, what Coach John said, we will we will find out in uh, when the game starts. We can because we can talk about uh, X's and O's, and we'll never know when the, the game starts. Uh, looking back to 2014 and uh, today, Coach, how do you see the competition? The dynamics of the competition? Um, very different because in, in 2014, there were what we had six teams in our group, right? And two to qualify or three to qualify, and now we only have four four teams to, to qualify, so that alone is very different. But in terms of competition, we had number three, Argentina, number five, Greece, number 12, Puerto Rico, number whatever, Croatia in our group, right? So um, I thought it was uh, uh, a different kind of uh, difficulty uh, uh, as it is uh, from, from, from from this year, um, but like I said, in, in, in 2014, we had uh, uh, a footer, we had a seven footer in Andre. Uh, now we have a different, a very different uh, weapon in, in Jordan. Uh, and I think that's very reflective of how the, the game has evolved over the years, right? So um, uh, Andre gave us something very different. Jordan is going to give us something completely different. Um, but I always like to say the strength of the pack is the wolf, in the same manner as the strength of the wolf is the pack. So it's not going to be only about uh, Jordan, or it was not only about Andre before. So, um, so I think that the main difference is, is that. Very different dynamics in the competition, very different uh, teams that were playing. Um, and uh, completed, it's, 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 it's as if like, it's as if we're not even thinking of 2014 at all. This is something completely different uh, that we're facing today. Coach, um, two questions, Coach. Uh, because coach, you schedule it was uh, announced during the draw. It was in advance. Coach, were you surprised, or were you already expecting that Carl Anthony Towns should be playing? And then yeah. second, yeah. And then second question, uh, coach, how do you mentally how do you plan to block out all the distractions? Because it's the first game. It's going to be at the Philippine Arena with the with the, that bid to break the attendance record and. Uh, yeah, everything. Uh, Are you asking me what I'm going to do if the crowd boosts again? The entire team, how do you plan to you know, uh, mentally be prepared for that uh, event, uh, first game uh, and everything? We just have to be, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, let's just be very realistic. Uh, so when I uh, accepted this job and I've told this to you guys over and over again uh, I knew that it was not going to be easy I know there's a lot of um, public or social media uh, disappointment or whatever but you know uh, I have uh, 
I don't know if I've gotten used to it or grown used to it, but I'm very thankful because I've been immune to it because I'm not in, in uh, I'm, no, I'm not in uh, social media anymore. So that alone has uh, already a big way of uh, blocking the distraction, right? Um, but other than that, just my regular, my regular routine. Uh, I'm a big, I practice gratitude daily. I, I'm a big believer in mindfulness meditation. I do that daily. Uh, I do uh, my breathing exercises. I do my workout and my movement, physical fitness routine. And then I do my work with my, with my, with the team, with the players. So, uh, I find that if you fill your day and your mind with uh, productive things, the negative things have no space to enter. So that's just everything that I'm doing. I just try to make this as, pos as positive as possible. Just to fill my, my, my mind, my spirit uh, with uh, positivity. We like to call it positivity. Fill it with that. Uh, then there is no space for for the negatives uh, and the distractions uh, to enter. And uh, for me, it's just relishing the opportunity. I mean, who who gets this chance, right, to coach the your national team in a tournament of this magnitude in your hometown? So I know there are a lot of detractors. I just uh, always remind myself that uh, what we have here going on is special, and that, that that's that's enough for me. That's enough for us, for the team. We just stick together and, and focus in, keep our heads down, and, and do the work. Last question. Uh, Jafet, uh, I don't know. Uh, first to. World Cups uh, away from home. And my own third mo, uh, Filipino Arena, it's a club team, and never a record. Yun. So, talk about your confidence, mo kasi, syempre, and uh, dami kin ever proud, tapos may gilas crowd ka pa. So, walk me through yung ano mo lang. So, how about your confidence? Yeah, uh, yeah, my own, uh, confidence, but, uh, hindi ka nag-prepare. Feel ko naman, um, we did the necessary uh, preparation. So, yun. Um, yun nga, hopefully, um, yung crowd attendance, um, um, mada, um, madaming pumunta at sumuporta para sa akin. Um, kasi, um, they really motivate us to, uh, to give our all in the fight. So, Ayun, um, like, I think ko lang pa how to put it eh. um, It's the World Cup, it's a big event, and sobrang small lang ng chance mo. So, every chance you get in the court, um, give it all this, you know. So, kumbaga, um, after the game, he won't look back or regret anything. And, you know, we can, like, Coach, Jeff, uh, Coach John said, um, we can play a perfect game, but still not guarantee the whole game. So, you know, so hopefully this World Cup, um, this is bigger than ourselves. 